Okay, today we'll be looking at the Fram Drive Oil Filter, number FD10575. And you can get this at Advanced Auto Parts for $5.49. So let's get started. This is that work. You got to glue the silicone, get nice and tight. Get your inner here. Filtration. Okay, let's start with the box. Synthetic blend media provides engine protection for over 7,500 miles. Hmm. Okay. For use with conventional or synthetic oil. All right, let's open up and see what she looks like. And put the right way here, date code. 21051EN Product of USA and This is a sticker Instructions Okay, let's look at the o-ring. This is a nitro rubber o-ring gasket comes off pretty easy And I see eight inlet holes uh, with a plastic cage. Looks like an Ecore design here. This looks like a champ made filter. A lot of threads here. This base plate also looks champ made. Yeah. We'll see when we cut it open, but um I'm guessing this has a filter uh, cardboard end caps. Yeah, it looks like a bypass valve down there. Well, wow. let's cut this baby open and see what's inside. Okay, here she is cut open. Let's start with the weight. 227 grams. And the base plate weighs 107 grams. And we've seen the O-ring. Comes off fairly easy. She's got a nice amount of threads here, though. Look at all those threads. Base plate's nice. It's got 13 holes aside here. It definitely looks like a champ made base plate to me. But it's nice. I like the base plate. Let's look at the anti drain back valve. This is rubber. It's pretty big. Cover up all these holes. Yeah work no problem filter element like I thought it's got the felt end caps with a plastic inner cage and I counted 63 pleats there's a glued seam right here and um, this also looks champ made to me but it's a synthetic blend media And let's see what this weighs. 35 grams. And the bypass valve. This has got a setting of 16 to 28 PSI. It's fairly large. And what's this weigh? 9 grams. And the can? The can weighs 67 grams. Let's get some measurements. I was getting about 0.4 at 7, let's see. Point five one, point five. That's a, that's about average. Okay, and we'll get the filter media. I'll put this to inches. See how wide she is here. Three point four, three point four five inches. And get it this way. Two point six one this way. And this the belt ain't gonna would be much, but three point five oh this way. Yeah, 
this is really light. Well, you know what? I say we uh, open this baby up and see how long she is. Looks like a little thread here or something. Yeah. A little piece of thread or something. No big deal. This all looks this all looks good. Okay, let's cut this baby open and see how long she is. Okay, here she is all stretched out. And she's 46 and a half inches long. She is zoomed out. Okay, and here she is at the seam. And it's a nice glued seam. I cut a little piece here to get a measurement of the thickness. Let's see how much thick she is. She's 0.82 millimeters thick. It's pretty good. It's pretty thick. It looks up close. Let's look at the rest of the filter. So you got your plastic inner cage, stamp leaf spring, felt end caps, 13 holes at that side, 8 there. You know, this is looking more like a champ made filter, and I think that's what it is. So if you're going to pay $5.49, I believe, for this one, you might just go to Walmart, save a couple bucks, and uh, buy a Super Tech oil filter because it's probably the same thing. Actually, I wish I had. I wish I had the Supertech uh, version of this filter to compare it to, but really don't have much more to say about this filter. What do you guys think about this filter? Please leave your comments down below. Don't forget Oil Filter Friday. I open up a new automotive oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care.